Hello. I'm working on a new project I'd like to share with you guys. This is my first jump into pneumatics. Uh, pretty intimidating at first, but I want to thank Tim and Steve for their videos online as well as chatting with them to uh, give me some confidence to give this a try. Uh, I'll include links to their pages in the description. So this project is a drop panel. There will be a wall built in front of this and a picture frame uh, where you could see this panel through. Uh, it'll also have other pictures on the same wall so it'll look like a gallery of pictures. There will be a motion detector. Uh, here, I'll show, I'll show you some of the parts. Okay, the motion detector I referred to is in this tube here. We've got it blocked off so I could do some work on this without uh, triggering it. The heart of pneumatics is, of course, air. Uh, got a line coming from my compressor to work here, and that runs this cylinder here. At the current state, there's a set of valves. I'm sorry, there's one valve that uh, right here it's got an air inlet at the bottom and this valve at rest is allowing air to push through one of these tubes here at the bottom of the tube and that fills up the chamber which pushes the piston out which is holding the armature up to keep the uh, uh, panel up in place when triggered it will switch the air pressure to the other tube, which runs up to the top here, to the top here, and that will push this piston back down, pulling this arm in and allowing the panel to drop. So I've got a button here on the valve I can manually uh, press, and I'll show you first the arm, and now the panel up here. Now you notice it raised and lowered at different rates. These screws on top of the valves allow me to adjust how much air rushes th through these connectors. So this one is pretty wide open. This is the one that pulls the panel down. And this one I've got tightened down to slow the air uh, to raise the panel. Now this valve is operated by 12 volts and that is controlled through a relay. Oh man, I'm sorry about the shadow. Um, uh, this relay triggers when the motion detector is hit because the, I've got an Arduino Uno running Octobanger and that's something you can download for free. Uh, it allows you to set up a program. I've got audio in this card here Currently, I've got the speaker disconnected, but I'll connect all that. So what happens is motion detector triggers, tells the Arduino to run the program, which opens this relay, which triggers this valve. And then this valve, in turn, runs the whole thing. Uh, there's also audio that plays, and it gives you a scare track as well as your ambient track. So give me a moment and I will hook up the ambient sound. Okay, first I'm going to step outside and let you see the drop panel with the background music running. And I'm gonna to motion to Cliff who is filming for me. Uh, and he is going to open the flap on the motion detector to trigger the panel so you can see the panel move and hear the scare effect.
seconds and try that again. <laughs> All right, go ahead. We'll give, we'll give it one more time. Go ahead. program uh, just for running this uh, we're gonna have a different scare sound and different background music something more maybe haunted mansion ish kind of orchestral uh, pipe organ type of thing uh, haven't decided what kind of sound effect we don't even know if when it drops there'll be an actor or if there will be another prop that comes through uh, one of the things I wanted to also show is uh, this, although it's being held up, won't trap somebody if they're reaching through because you could actually overcome the air pressure uh, without too much difficulty. Um, so if it triggers... That is if it triggers and you've stuck your head through, it comes up slow enough to, uh, to let you know, uh, get your head out of the way. <laughs> Thanks for watching.